this video is to show how to remove piston rod and this is part 3 of uh, main engine decap videos and for removing this piston rod follow the steps given here turn the crosser down to give access to piston rod stuffing box and piston rod release stuffing box by removing the innermost screw from stuffing box flange and then remove piston rod bolts using hydraulic jack next we have to clean the area of the liner top landing area of liner and then fit the tool and lift the piston this is what we are going to see in this video so now you can see already two of our people are inside the crankcase and uh, you can see they are sitting over the cross head and which was uh, told earlier you have to bring the piston in such a way you can access to remove the innermost screw of stuffing box you can see there is two screws you can see in the stuffing box flange the outermost screw you should not touch you have to open only the innermost screw you can see very carefully our crew is opening the innermost screw of stuffing box flange this will release the stuffing box from the flange so once you remove the screw then you can easily take out the stuffing box while you are pulling the piston out so next once you are done with removing the innermost screw of uh, stuffing box the next thing is you have to open the piston rod bolts so again you have to use hydraulic jack to open the rod bolts so we had seen enough uh, uh, videos about how to use hydraulic jack to open nuts but i will give you the link of how to open the hydraulic nut using hydraulic jack you can see it in a separate video so in this case you cannot uh, remove all four bolt in one shot you have to remove two two bolts like diagonal so once you are open with the bolts we can uh, we have to take out the nut and keep it separately and main thing which you need to notice is you have to mark the nuts so that the nut don't get misplaced when you are fitting it back so you can see the hydraulic uh, nut is already loosened all we are doing now it we are removing the nut so before removing the nut we have to put a marking over the nut that is what our third engineer Mr. Rohan is doing uh, we are trying to mark it but uh, it is always better to use white color marker permanent marker so that it don't erase away to mark on the bolts uh, sorry nuts so okay we are doing the marking like port uh, port forward port aft like you can do the marking so this bolt we will mark as port side and it's on the port side and forward so this will be port side aft so this is how you have to uh, mark the nuts for your reference which will be easier so once the nut is removed from place then we are ready to lift the piston provided we have to do some essential job on top of the cylinder liner area so okay we are done next thing is you have to mount distance piece on piston rod foot so this is the distance piece which I am talking about usually there will be a company supplied uh, distance piece but here in this ship we don't have that uh, tool missing so we fabricated a tool this is uh, this tool is nothing just it guides the stuffing box to come up that is the purpose of this tool so there will be two tools 
it's just a long bolt that's all so both the side both starboard and port side we have to fix the tool once the tool is ready then we are ready to take the piston out from the cranky side not from the top side now once this is done ensure all the tools which you had taken inside for opening the screws everything should be taken out so always uh, uh, make a note of what are all the tools that you are taking inside the crack case and when you come out you can again cross check with the tools which is already came out so now we are uh, removing the stand floor plates which we had kept for entering the crankcase door so once the all plates are lifted in parallelly when this job is going on the in the top side means in the cylinder cover side there will be people working for removing the dirt means uh, do the carbon deposit removing and other job is related to removal of piston so once this is done now slowly take the piston towards the tdc so that the piston will be straight position now you have to use the turning gear and uh, take the piston out means to the tdc that is what we are doing now so once the piston reaches tdc and people can uh, go inside the liner and stand on top of the top land of piston and they can do the removal of carbon deposits which is in the top land surface of liner so once you can see the piston is uh, coming up and uh, okay we are ready to go inside the liner then the main thing that we need to do is we have to do a scratch mark on the piston cleaning ring that is what our second engineer is doing there will be a piston cleaning ring on the top surface you have to put a mark and you have to give a punch mark so that you put back the piston cleaning ring on the same position that is what our second engineer is doing just keep a small wedge and give a punch mark so that when you keep back the ring it will be in the same position so we are done with this next thing is next thing is uh, we have to clean the top surface of the piston area so you can see a lot of deposit on the top surface this is all uh, sulfur deposit you can call it as so it is always recommended to put face mask when you are working in this job so once we are done with this you have to clean the inner surface remove all the particles so that uh, it will help in soft removal of piston from place because there will be always hot deposit of carbons you can see here hot deposits of carbon over there and this carbon will uh, disturb the piston when it is coming up that is the reason we are removing those carbon deposits now we have taken the piston out you can see this is the groove where the piston lifting tool sits so that groove should be cleaned perfectly and now we are going to fit the piston lifting tool and uh, i will show you how to fit the tool and ensure the tool is going properly between the studs if it hits the stud it may damage the thread of the stud so that be careful when you are lowering the lifting tool so now the lifting tool is down and when the lifting tool is kept on top of the piston you have to fit the lifting tool connectors in way of the groove which is in the piston 
so we will remove the connectors from place and uh, okay this is a connector which is which we need to fit along with the piston this connector is the one which takes the load of piston and that is the reason we have to be very careful when we are fitting this connector along with the tool because if the tool is not seating properly then it may leads to accident then the lifting tool can fail to do it out this groove should go inside the piston that is the idea so now we are going to do that we are going to fit inside it you had you can see the slot i'm searching for it once i got the slot i can fit the tool if we are not uh, getting the slot properly you can do a small lift of uh, lifting tool so that uh, when you lift the tool you get access to the slot yeah now uh, i think i had manage see i lifted the tool now so that uh, tool is not fully seated over the piston if it is seated over the piston it will be hard for me to turn so now the the tool is perfectly inside there is no gap between the tool and there should not be any go it should be face to face that is that confirms that uh, the tool is fitted properly in place so once this has to be fitted both the side so once that is fitted now you have to align the crane straight and lift the piston very slowly you have to see the crane should be straight it should not be any uh, cross because when if it is cross there are chances for piston to get stuck so slowly slowly you have to lift the piston you can see the piston is uh, coming up each and every ring is coming up slowly so once all the four rings are out that means we are 50 percentage succeeded because most of the time the piston ring gets stuck this easy way is due to that we removed all the carbon deposit on the top land of liner so now you have to be very careful when lifting because you have to the stuffing box if it is slack it can hit the liner so you have to be lifting it very slowly and from the crankcase door side someone should monitor the lifting so that the stuffing box don't hit anywhere so now you can see the piston is coming up slowly slowly and uh, yes the stuffing box is about to come when it is out then almost we are done with 80 percentage once the foot is out then 100 percent we are perfect in removing the piston out from place you can see the stuffing box coming out and uh, you can see the stud which we had attached distance piece piece so this stud nothing it does it just pushes the stuffing box up when we are lifting the piston that's all so now the piston is out of uh, cylinder liner when the foot is coming out you should be very careful till the foot is completely out you should not move the piston because the foot can also hit the liner and damage it so you can see the entire piston is out of place now you can uh, take the piston out and secure it in place uh, i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about how to remove the piston from place main thing is uh, once you are going inside the inside the crankcase you have to keep a account of what are all equipment you carry so once you are out you should uh, cross check all the equipments are out so once that is done 
you, next thing is you have to ensure that innermost screw is open not the outermost screw of stuffing work flange should be opened then the top land should be properly cleaned then your tool should be properly placed and while lifting you have to lift very carefully very slowly no urgency nothing that's all our job is done of lifting the piston from place and it has been secured for overall so that's all we are done with the job I believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to remove piston from place while doing decob work. If you have uh, any doubt, you can give me a you can comment in comment box. Thanks for watching. Thank you all.